So we're going to have to try and fill these gaps and try to use this pretty thick uh, memory foam that I found. Um, it's probably the thickest I had. It's closed cell foam, like a memory foam. And just getting a template to do the job and finding the right contour, laying it out. Finding the right placement. Quick bit of marking. And final shape there. Cut it out. Um, the preciseness is not really that crucial because we can. Um, we're going to be making a a wraparound cover, maybe out of the existing carpet, maybe um, fabricate something new. We're just trying to get a nice seal in there. The top of that woofer went all the way up to the top, so I used another similar woofer to make that template and pushed it back in. As you can see, very tiny gap. That's crucial to get that seal. I'm going to put a piece of black carpet anywhere that you see wood, maybe an extra couple of centimetres behind that line, and underneath this diameter of this woofer, carpet under there. Now I'm going to try a trick. I don't know if it's going to work out. I'm just going to make a piece of carpet go all the way across there, and then I'm going to push the woofer or something round into that spot and cut the carpet hole here and then screw the woofer in so the carpet will stretch across this. Uh, shape giving me like a little almost like a satellite dish curve without having to do any bogging or building filling in the hole so it'll have a nice little carpet ramp and for this bit here there's actually a seat cushion that goes about here on that side I was thinking of reusing this boot liner I'll just have to cut a new line because this used to surround the opening of the pass through now I've cut it roughly where I think it's going to go a bit more and then it should just go like that. It may or may not look good because it won't have a, a tuck under. But there's no point keeping this pristine for a rainy day. I may as well just have a go at it because I can always just do a new piece of carpet I guess. Oh, we'll see. And so I cut that piece and um, did both sides and put that aside. Now I had to quickly uh, unscrew everything. This looks way too convenient. So lazy. Very convenient. Get one more bit of wing. One hidden amp. Plus you've already got... All that when it's turned on. With that obviously. Uh, you don't get to see the 7 inch unless I cut a hole in that side support. Which is possible. Cut a hole in the side support. Yeah, so I had to label all the um, power leads and uh, put them away in the nice little boxes just to get this um, unit out uh, to prepare for the carpeting and mounting decisions for later on. There's a, a lot more work to do on this and I think that'll be coming up in the next video. So next time, look out, we're going to be looking at mounting the amps and maybe removing some wood. Who knows? Uh, see you next time.